justice criminals more and more are getting a slap on the wrist. And again, it's Australia as well. I just read of a teenage kid here in Melbourne. Youth crime is just going off the charts. This kid. Left or right challenge. In the left lane is a Greyhound bus. In the right lane is a camper van. Kids breaking into homes with machetes and knives, terrorizing women and children. And a lovely subject well, matter on the radio the today. Need to get a lot harsher in their sentencing, or if the laws are preventing this, we need to change some of our laws and put crime back into focus. When you do horrible things, as you say, rape and murder would be up there. There should be uh, strict penalties for it, not just a slap on the wrist. Poor you, you've had a rough life off you go so uh, it's it's part of a much bigger problem and this is all part of the left's view of the world which doesn't take into account things like sin and right and wrong uh, conservatives have a much better track record at looking at this kind of stuff saying hey there are some things that are wrong and they should not be allowed they should be punished but as long as the left keeps getting into power i think we're going to see more and more of this happening yeah, and it's it really is an antichrist spirit, isn't it? Because the Bible's clear that we're born uh, sinners. Mm. So we're not born inherently good. But like I said, the judiciary on the left today, their approach seems to be everyone's a good person. So if they've made some bad choices, they obviously were disadvantaged as kids. They grew up in the wrong yep. area. They didn't get to go to the elite schools that my kids go to. And out of this sort of ridiculous sense of guilt, they try and pander to these, these young people who have come from rough backgrounds instead of looking at it biblically, which is the heart is deceitful and oh, wicked above all things, and therefore we're all born sinners. So it doesn't matter where we're born, how rich or poor we are. And I think that's the key issue, isn't it? That people on the left, uh, and really, to be honest, a lot of people on the right now, but Bill, it's getting pretty bad on the right as well, are not viewing people with this biblical lens of right or wrong and sin and righteousness and the consequences to actions. Bill, I could talk to you about this all day, but uh, Bill Muhlenberg is from culturewatch.com. He writes excellent blogs. He's written a blog about this very topic. Bill, it's so timely. And I just want to thank you for, for being on this all the time, for writing blogs about it, and of course for joining us. Always a pleasure and always really enlightening, Bill. So thank you again for your time. Thanks so much. Always great to be with you. I am Les Kennedy. And I'm Timothy Jones. Join us each week on our show from Ann Coleman and on Vision. Every week we talk about topics that affect us all as men, being a husband, being a dad, money, health, faith. And the things we struggle with too, like depression, suicide, substance abuse and pornography. We look forward to joining you each weekend as we explore topics to help you on your journey. On Momentum. Every weekend on Vision and on demand in the free yeah. Vision Christian Media app. Christian what? persecution is on the rise globally and requires an urgent reaction. Voice of the Martyrs has been responding to the practical and spiritual needs of persecuted Christians for over 50 years. Your tax-deductible donation to a registered Australian charity can significantly impact the lives of persecuted Christians. Trust Voice of the Martyrs to ensure your donation has the greatest influence. For more information and to support the work of station sponsor Voice of the Martyrs, visit VO. <laughs> Copyright zone. So here we go. 
ding 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 ding